Hey, what's up, everybody? It's the Real Rasta Boy TV and it's the boy, the Real Rasta Boy on Twitter, Instagram, and I got a, a brain freeze a while ago for some reason, but I don't know. You know, all it's Catfish Tuesday. Catfish Tuesday. Yes, ma'am. I was like, oh my god, Catfish came on tonight. I didn't know. But luckily for DVR, I knew that. Once I checked my recorded programs, I was able to see Mr. Catfish or Miss Catfish, and I knew I had to go ahead and check the new episode out of Nick and Melissa that came on. Oh, God. So this is Nick and Melissa. Nick and Melissa is currently 18 years old or 18 and a half years old, and they've been talking for since like 12 and a half or 12 years old, so over six years they've been talking online as always. Nick met her um, while... You if, if y'all don't know, Tila Tequila was that girl who was on MTV. She had a show on MTV. Um, I think she was also, um, I'm not sure what Flavor Flavor or something. Like that. But Tila Tequila became very famous for, for, from over being internet. She did Playboy or whatever. So they met on that Tila Tequila webpage, I guess, by contacting each other, chit chatting. Long story short, they've been friends or online buddies or whatever for over six years. Never met each other. One live in Florida. I think Nick lives in Florida and Melissa lives in Iowa or something like that. Some country state girl. Um so they never been they never met because obviously they were so young and it's not like they live like next one hour away from each other where two hours where they could take the bus or something. They were young, they have not met, but they chit chat on the phone. They don't have a webcam in or a web chat, whatever, but it was nothing where he could probably see who Melissa was. Neve and Max was called as usual to the to the scene. Neve and Max tried to evaluate the situation, realized that um, Melissa has his boyfriend named Olin. And I'm like, how can you try to talk to somebody online and have a, a, a boyfriend named Olin? But long story short, this guy Olin to me is a boyfriend of convenience or a boyfriend of... What do you want to call it now? Like when you know when you when somebody provides something, an avenue for you to have something better than you've had before. Maybe that's what boyfriend of convenience is. She he's basically the facilitator of her living situation at this time. While Nick is there and she may have feelings for Nick by talking to him virtually, you know, computer or via phone and text. This person she lives with. So Neva Max was diving into the situation to find out why she's trying to talk to Nick. If she's living with a current boyfriend, you know, for the over for that past seven months, I think she said she was living with him. Okay, so moving right along, you know, Neve contact Melissa and a couple other friends to find out if Melissa was actually telling the truth. Melissa's friends said that yes, Neve, sorry, yes, Nick is someone that was been mentioned by Melissa before, and yes, Olin, Melissa lives with, but she just they don't know much about the situation with Melissa and Olin. So, obviously, Nick heard about this. He's all devastated. But, again, he was young. He's still young. Um, so, Nick want to find out and meet this Melissa girl before he goes to, I think, mechanic school in 10 months. Sorry, in um, a few months. And he'll be gone for a while. And then maybe this will be somewhere where he can start a, start a new chapter of, of his life by going to a different state, meeting new people. And he want to know who this Melissa girl is. Okay, so Melissa agreed to follow me all in. They they fly to Iowa, whatever. Long story short, it's day of meeting. Melissa called and said, hey, we're not going to meet at my place because Olin doesn't feel comfortable. So we're going to meet at my friend's place. When they meet there, Nick is all nervous, as you should. Melissa comes to the door. She's in this long summer dress with a little short sweater over it. And lo and behold, she looks at a person whose Nick has been... Nick is, been seen in the pictures. However, Melissa has put on a little bit of weight. No, she has not put on a damn weight. She was taking pictures from certain angles. You know when y'all take selfies, a new word for selfies, and y'all take it from up here, and y'all are, you know, positioning the camera all cute so y'all can look cute, and y'all flexing your face. Yeah, that's what Melissa was doing. Melissa knew, knew her angles. She was watching too much Stop Miley because Melissa knew her angles. So she was taking pictures that would not reflect that she was a very thick girl. While she 
where is her way very, very not bad. I must come in her for how she dresses. She doesn't dress you and make you look like a slob or an overweight girl. You know, she's not the, you know, Victoria's Secret or no, um, you know, Jennifer Hudson weight. But she's a little bit chunky. But she's, you know, she's coming to me so she likes a little piercing. She does a nose piercing, the big old thing in your ears. And she does a whole gothic not in the makeup ish, but I can see where she goes like she looks like a bit gothic or into that whole piercing and black hair thingy. Okay. So when Nick met her, Nick ran into her arms. They were all lovey dovey, um, embracing each other and was very comfortable, but you know, obviously the weight was a big issue for Nick. But again, when you like somebody for such a long time and no matter maybe they look that bad or look a little bit thicker or whatever, you still gonna have some kind of lightness in your heart to want to talk and find out more about this individual. So Nick wanted to find more about more about her. They chit chat for a longer time, and they you know express you know you know feelings for each other. But she is still tied between Nick over there, Olin over here, and she's in Amela, and she doesn't know who she really wanna be with, which is understandable because. Um, later on in the show, we realized that Olin provided a place for her when she didn't have anywhere to go. She said she only had two sweat bottoms and two hoodies or two shirts and nowhere to go. And when she met Olin, I'm thinking more likely she was like, shit, somebody's going to let me move into their house and they don't know me that long. I guess I'm going to go ahead and try to work this out. And two weeks after she moved into the house, they broke up. So you knew that it was not something that was... A lot of feelings into but I guess gradually she living with him and he's learning more about her she learned more about Olin they become a little more having like feelings each other maybe having a little sex with intercourse maybe doing a little bang bang hookup stuff but Olin is doing himself so Olin doesn't like the fact of saying that he's um Melissa is his girlfriend um you know because he's saying he wants to consider to be single while he maybe talks to other girls and he knows that Melissa talks to Nick virtually online or text or whatever and she can do her but as far as Melissa when he's with Melissa every day and night Melissa is like his world he likes Melissa and you know even though people may think that she's not beautiful she's beautiful to him and you know he lives with his mom technically so Melissa is living with him and his mom and sorry but the house when I saw they pull up to the house I'm like what abandoned house is that because that house was like it's been abandoned the furniture looked very run down not up to date. We're living in 2013. Those furniture look like something that we had back in maybe the 80s or something like that. No, I'm not throwing on shade, but I'm just saying. And I know Melissa just in the relationship right now because of what was given to her at the time. She had no better avenue in getting a better situation, other situation. So she just stuck with it, and now she's just stuck. Basically, she eventually, to me, want to get out, but right now there's nothing better for her right now, so why not stay where you at until better comes? And that could be so right, because sometimes people, you know, go into stuff just because it's what it, they can get out of it right now, and that's not maybe what's, you know, happy, what they truly really want, but eventually, you know, they're just like, I'm stuck right for right now, I'm going to try to see if I can work my way in doing better. And that's, that's what, to me, Melissa is trying to do, eventually trying to find out if she can pursue other avenues and possible get out of this relationship slash living situation slash whatever it is with, with Olin. While Nick is on the side now trying to find out what's going on with Melissa and him before he goes off to school in Texas. So I found the last meeting with Melissa and, um, and, and, and Nick was to iron everything up, put everything on the table. Let, him, let her know she he's going away to school. He wants to keep in contact with her. He wants to, um, you know, because he's been known her for a long time, over six years. That's a long ass time. That's when you're so young. But he wants to remain in contact with her and see if they can just make up, you know, be friends still. And eventually gets out of mechanic school to see if this is going to go anywhere. And to see if at that time she's better, she's better herself as far as finishing her GED because girl job out of school. And girl didn't finish her GED, she'd have no high school diploma, and she has no damn job. So she basically was shack up on the arm, Olin and his mom. I tell you. So, anyway, after the show ended, you know, we always get a one-month update. Um, Nick is currently in school in, in Texas. You know, he's not been um, met anybody yet, but he's, um, you know, still keeping contact with Melissa. Melissa said she just had an interview, so she's hoping that she's going to get the job. And for right now, she's still living with Olin, of course. Um... So, you know, what I took from this episode, Melissa and, um, and Nick episode, is that sometimes people, you know, go, go in a situation and get trapped by it. 
but that's not what they actually would want for themselves and I'm sure we all have done that where we may take on a, a, you know an adventure a job a situation um, you know whatever and that's something that we would have technically wanted for ourselves or for somebody that we love but because that was what came at the time we went into it and then hopefully that will make an avenue for us to do better eventually some of you just get stuck and not looking for better so Melissa, she's looking for better. She's working on getting a job and, and bettering her, better herself. Hopefully, Nick will maybe motivate her to want to, you know, do better for herself while he's doing better for himself also by continuing his education and going to school and all that good stuff. So, let me all know what y'all think about Catfish, obviously, in episode 12, Nick and Melissa episode. Please leave y'all comments up. Before y'all go, please two thumbs up the, um, the video by clicking on the, the little thumbs up or a little hand button at the bottom of the screen and let me all know that you all like the review and if y'all don't like it please sound off also because I you know I, you know I don't care about good or bad feedback you know any feedback is better than zero feedback anyway please leave y'all comments and for, before y'all go make sure y'all subscribe and thank y'all so much for subscribing the, 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 the new subscribers welcome to the real wrestle boy tv and there's more videos to come um and if, if feel free to email me the real wrestle boy tv at gmail.com it's your boy, the Rear Rasta Boy, signing off for Catfish Tuesday. I'll catch y'all next week. Okay? Bye.